this morning on the 19th of November 2014. We're putting together a rally and a march for the Homeless Bill of Rights, the AB5, uh, for a drop-in day center and for the equal rights to be treated as everyone else. Um, it will stop the police department from ticketing for unlawful camping in public places. Uh, and we can all work together. Instead of combating each other, we can combat the problem and we can all be part of the solution. Um, so hopefully today we can at least show county, city, um, and homeless that we can join forces. We can do things together as this peaceful march is going, going along here uh, from Loma and Yosemite to the government center. Yeah. We've all heard the statistic we are one paycheck away from homelessness. That is not acceptable. In this country, the majority of homeless people are painted as drug addicts, are painted as alcoholics, but the truth of the matter is the majority are families just like us. Yeah. And until we stand up and do something about it, then we are all in danger of one day being on the street, and then what are we going to do? Pass laws where they don't want to see people, they want to push you to the city over, but we're not going away. We're going to be here today, we're going to be here tomorrow, and unfortunately we'll probably be here the day after that until we as a community decide to do something about it. That's what I want to say. already been into the legislation and it was knocked down first of the Chamber of Commerce. But we have the right to occupy legally parked vehicles. We have the right to search food and eat in public. That's what the Bill of Rights will be bringing. We've got to have a safe place to keep our stuff. The lockers inside that day center will improve the quality of each and every life in this community. Build a better city. Yeah! yeah. Yes, we are not going against what the Board of Supervisors said about a vibrant status loss or the mayor of the city saying we need a stronger community. But we're putting the cart ahead of the horse because if we do that without building independent lives first, we're only cutting our own throat. And if we don't move together in unity and in one, we will fall again. So these are the voices that need to be heard on a daily basis. Write your legislators. We have we have a district up on the fifth floor, the senator's office, the assembly's office. On the sixth floor is the board of supervisors and the mayor. Thank you so much. Is there anyone else from the homeless community this morning that would like to say you know what we really want or what we need in our life? Understand. Yeah. We have no right to be nowhere. They'll give you a ticket for sitting at a, par a piece of grass on the sidewalk during the day when it's 100 and God knows, so hot you can't breathe. And um, they won't let you sit there. Even though the business is closed for four minutes to catch your breath, to take a drink of water and not pass out. You don't have a right to be safe anywhere. You can't sleep anywhere. You have to ask the police, well, what am I supposed to do? Go to the homeless shelter in Turlock. They'll give you a bus ticket to either uh, Fresno or Nevada, where they're sanctioned off in their own group. Which is good, they get what they want, but that's where they want to send you. How am I supposed to get there? Will you give me a ride? No, we'll give you a ride to jail. Okay, so what would you like me to do? Go out and get some drugs and stay up like the rest of Modesto? So I could just wander around all night long? Because that's what you have to do. You can't sit anywhere. Anyways, we have a right to be somewhere. That's right. No more homeless! No more. <laughs> that is reality in a homeless person's world. That's not just a 48 hour without a home challenge. That's an everyday drama, everyday story that we must deal with. Because I myself, being a homeless advocate, I am homeless also. Yes, I would like to say something. I, I was 
about a year ago, I was accused of being at a high school and falsely accused of doing something. I was standing at the bus stop and the campus security guards came out and accused me of doing something I was not doing. And so there should be more, better cameras and whatnot at schools. I, when I, I went to I graduated from IOT eight and a half months and and I, after I done or graduated they you know I went out there to go pick up paperwork and I'm accused of doing something I did not even do so I'm going to court tomorrow at 8 30 in the morning and I'm going to mention that I I came here to this homeless you know you know, yeah. you know it's not right I, I'm accused of doing something I didn't do I'm, I'm perfectly innocent on the 26th of this month at 8 15 in department 12 arraignment court. There's 46 homeless people. Cited with unlawful camping in public places. I myself have two of those tickets. We will be pleading not guilty, stipulating the factual evidence, binding over to a jury trial. Because we, at that point in time, it was unconstitutional to write these tickets when there's not a shelter open and available. So says the the uh, ooh, Article 7 of the United Nations policy and civil rights that was voted upon August 23rd of this year. There will be a class action lawsuit filed within the hour. It's time that a city take notice that we're tired of being kicked in the face. But we got to understand to have mercy because the city and the county is not the only one that needs to change. I know I do. Because I live in an anorexic glass house. But you know what? We can improve together as a unit, as a whole, and we can all become a stronger community. There's a gentleman back here in the back. Do you mind if I call on you? Yes, sir. This is a gentleman that was living in Beardbrook. This is a gentleman that knows what it's like to be homeless. But I want you to tell this crowd where you're at today. Well, today I'm a student in the social work program at Stanislaus State. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I can say is I got lucky, at, but unfortunately a lot of people don't have the privileges that I had. I had some help along the way. But when I was out here homeless, all I all I remember the most is that the city just kept pushing us away. They didn't want us to be seen. Uh, you sit in a park and you get kicked out. You, you the homeless shelters are closed in the summer, and you camp somewhere and you get a ticket. It's like you're not allowed to exist, and something needs to be done about but we it. Do exist. And so you know, all, yeah, we do. And, and everybody is, is like uh, Benita said, two paychecks away from being homeless. So it's really this whole community's problem. Yet most of this community wants to act like it's, you know, it's somebody else's problem. So um, we're just hoping to, you know, raise awareness. And, and maybe if we keep doing that, then something will change. There you go. Yeah! We're all part of humanity. And we need to show loving kindness to each other and we'll, we'll change people one at a time person to person it's not going to be between institutions or government bodies it's going to be people to people and we need to build a beloved community where we take care of each other we look out for each other and we don't hurt each other it's going to take time but if we put out compassion compassion can come to us that's right 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 and so we can be ourselves and be proud of who we are to say that yes I believe in love yes right yes yeah. yes and we're gonna just build it slowly brick by brick and do it in a thoughtful kind manner there's a lot of people from a lot of different walks of life that believe in love and compassion but are afraid to stand up and say so. So, you know, and, and to, to be kind to your fellow man, I think it, it's a trend that might just catch on. That's right. Yeah!
good speech. So if there's not anything else, any, I, I was expecting some of our local officials to be here this morning, um, but we don't have any that, uh, <laughs> you know, chooses to be here. But I'm not holding anything against them. Hopefully we can change together. We're going to go out into our all different way, well, bypass it to school, to work, to wherever we need to go. And we'll just dismiss from here. And I thank everyone for being a part of this. Because without you, this would not have happened. Without you, this could not and would not have happened. Right? So thank every one of you for being here. Yeah! No more homeless! Yeah! Thank you, Bert! Can we get a picture of this sign right here? Oh, yeah. What's this about? Someone tell me. <laughs> to stop everybody this. deserves to take the shower and to be clean, and that's everybody's right. <laughs>